All right, guys, I'm about to post up a video of uh, this tool that we just got in at work for testing amperage. And in the video, um, the amperage drawer is pretty low on the alternator, which is a good thing. And what I failed to mention in the video is the amperage drawer on the alternator is really low because of the battery bank I have in the back. I got the four kinetics and one under the hood. So I have a total of five kinetic batteries. And uh, that's why the amperage drawer is low. So that's really good. Um, the only problem with that is it's not telling me what the audio cue is actually drawing. Um, so I have another way to clamp it. What I did in this video was I clamped it under the hood from the alternator charge line back to the battery bank. So that's telling you after the batteries, um, it's only asking for 40 amps of power from the alternator, which is pretty decent still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the tool again and I'm going to clamp it. Um, right where the positive goes into the amplifier and uh, we'll test both wires and see if they're both pulling the same amount so it's going to be probably doubled whatever amperage it's pulling um, on one it's going to double it so um, I'll get that up pretty soon probably within this week depending on how work goes and if I get lunches and stuff so that's it hope you enjoy this video and uh, it's a good tool people should look into getting it if they want to see what they're doing all right guys as you know if you're subscribed to my channel i am running a georgia power 300 amp alternator and uh ever since i've got it i've always wanted to try to find a way to test it but uh the amperage testers that we have at my job um they were low amperage testers they only went up to 20 amps so that's not even close to what i needed so uh i was lucky enough that one of the guys oh dropped you i was lucky enough that uh one of the guys at work went up and picked up this amperage tester. So it's real easy to use. Uh, all you gotta do is put either the negative or positive wire right through the clamp, and that will tell you how many amps are passing through it. And that's as easy as it gets. It tests ohms too, which you can see up around one o'clock on there. And uh, the amps is to the left, the A with the wave sign over it. So all you do is just set it to that. I'll show you guys. And uh, it'll it'll zero itself out in a second, and then you just put the wire through it, and uh, that's all there is to it. So this was two hundred and fifty dollars from Snap On. Um, actually, I lied. It's from the Mac Tool Truck that comes to my work because uh, I work over here at Henry's Tire. So I'm gonna go grab some lunch, and while I'm in the parking lot, we're gonna see how much amperage my alternator puts out at idle. Um, and under a load and then with the stereo on all right we got dj slow and throw pop that pussy <laughs> got the fucking meter right here we're gonna see what this thing just one audio q 3500 pulls for for uh power and this thing is slamming so that we don't get that beeping noise. 
<clears throat> so that's what the uh, meter is saying it's saying 41 amps so that's not bad at all that's not even close to the 300 um, and that was that that was me leaving the alternator uh, at idle that wasn't revving it up it really doesn't change when I rev it up um, because it doesn't need it so um, an alternator isn't going to just put out um, its full potential if it doesn't have to so that's it guys I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video and it's a nice little tool to have for 250 bucks uh, not bad at all I'm glad I got it for free though and I can use it anytime I want so in the future when I get another audio cue 3500 uh, we'll clamp it again and see what she throws out